welcome to the Must Love Yarn Cast. It is really close to Christmas. Te December 19th. Technically, it's December 19th. Yes. Tuesday. Tuesday. Just to mix things up a little bit. Yes. And also because it's the only time that would work. Only day <laughs> we could get this done. Yeah. And get it to you by Friday. Mm -hmm. Or it was going to be after Christmas. And that was just, that was going to make everybody sad. So. Yes. Or actually wouldn't have worked. You're going to be out of town. So we would have just yeah. been in the new year. And that would have been really bad. Mm -hmm. So we're here on yeah. Tuesday. Welcome. Yes. And we are back at our pre-move pre spot. Mm -hmm. um, at the because, big work table. Yeah. Because the store is open. And so we can normally we podcast on or yarn cast on Mondays. Uh, and the store is closed. So we could set up wherever we want in the store. Yeah. Um, but the store is open right now. So we can't really set up this whole production and block a giant wall of yarn. Well, we could, but you we know for have. a fact that 35 people would come in wanting that yes. yarn immediately at that moment. Because yes. that's, how, yes. that's how these things work. Yes. So we made the decision to just come back here for this old one. School. Yep. Uh, but we'll be back in the other location next time. Next time, perhaps. <laughs> Assuming Pending timing, schedules align. Yeah, maybe we will be back here on January first, right? To do a new podcast. I know. I was just thinking that actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Maybe Better we'll, than inventory. That's right. Maybe we'll want to time it again for New Year's Eve. That Sunday, we can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. We'll take. We'll do that offline. Um, yes. So welcome. We are here, as maybe you have suspected, at our yarn shop in Shelburne, Vermont. Uh, if you are new to the yarn cast, uh, that's where we are. That's where we are, uh, and you can find the store out on social media as Must Love Yarn. You can also shop online. If shop you need online. To. Find all the good things that um, a lot of the good things we're going to talk about today. I always say yeah. a lot, some because. You know, we bring in other things from stash or we do you know, whatever. Yes. Occasionally, because we do have to use those. I think we too. have a mixture here. I have do a mixture. Have a, I have a mixture yeah. too. Um. So, and I'm Angela, and I'm Jen, and you can find me out on social media, Instagram, and Ravelry as Junior Bird Kid. Um, <clears throat> and I'm on it's Ravelry. <laughs> it is always like, why is this so tricky? Uh, mainly because I have different things for different places because I'm an idiot. Um. Uh, so on Ravelry, I'm Jay Arbuckle, uh, and on Instagram, I'm Jennifer underscore Arbuckle. Yep. And feel free to follow or friend us on those platforms with my usual caveat that that's my personal page. So you're going to see other stuff out there um, besides yarn and knitting content. Right. Um, if you want just fiber related content, um, the store is the place to be um, yeah. for that. Uh, my page has been pretty quiet lately because I've been super crazy doing all kinds of kiddo stuff um, and uh, just things that aren't really for documenting on that social media platform. So, Yes, and I've been running around with no children, but running around the country, <laughs> yeah. I guess, this fall. <laughs> and so, and usually when I go to another place, I do post, you know, some fun pictures mm -hmm. or local architecture or something interesting, but I don't know. I was in DC for whenever, two weeks ago. Yeah. After the last podcast, I think maybe. Yeah. yeah. That sounds right. And uh, I was there for four days and the only time I- were taking the hat. Oh, right. You, you That's right. Winding yarn to take the hat. That's right. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I posted any pictures while I was gone, even though I was no. in the nation's capital at the Christmas season, which is lovely in DC. Yeah. And, um, but we went out, you know, we were in the hotel all day, every day. We went out at yeah. night for dinner. So there were some lights and things, but I didn't really, yeah. just didn't take any pictures really. Uh, and I've been, uh, like in the craft dungeon bunker, <laughs> uh, which is a mess, a hot mess minute. Um, full of stuff trying to was but I've been sewing uh, fleece neck warmers yeah. for the holiday bazaar yeah. um, so we've been doing a lot of s more sewing I'm really taking pictures of those because like <laughs> how do you take pictures of those I did break my sewing machine that oh, was no. that oh my god too I much fluff two hours so no. no it was not related to those fleece neck warmers no um 
this was probably should have been a story for the outtakes, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to derail this podcast here in Council. Why? Here. Why not? <laughs> Why do anything differently? Than we so do. I thought that it would be fun to get some super stretchy fleece fabric. So it's almost like knit mm. fabric feel, except it's fleece. So it's thick. It's really soft. Yeah. Super stretchy. Stretches in all directions. Mm -hmm. um, because I thought, oh, this would be cute. Look, we can Abigail and I can make these little head warmers, and then we can whip for us. Like it wasn't mm -hmm. even for the holiday bazaar. So. I um, I get one seam on the first one done, and then you have to take the two ends and join them together. So oh. it's like multiple thicknesses. Yeah. Uh, and my machine just, it had a moment, um, and it I should bring it in or take a picture of what the one that like jammed the machine looks like. The backside of it, like just- Thread. Everywhere. And it got wrapped all around down mm -hmm. under in like mm -hmm. the shuttle or whatever that's called down mm -hmm. there. Bobbin. Bob the bobbin <laughs> and all of the moving pieces down there. Yeah. Um, and then the process of that happening, I think I think something got bent. It broke oh, no. it broke off the automatic cutter. So my machine now doesn't have an automatic thread cutter, which is really annoying when mm -hmm. you're super used to just being like, oh, I'm done, push the button and it cuts the thread. You can't do that anymore. No. But it took me a really long time to figure out that that was what the problem was, that that was loose. And then I was kind of fiddling around with it. And finally the little cutter thing like fell off and I was like, oh, well, okay, well that's- You can probably, good. maybe, I bet the guy can fix it. I, I believe so. Um, I believe so. Uh, so I, I got the machine, but I wasn't done making the fleece knot warmer. So I'm like, I'm having a moment downstairs, mm -hmm. right? Cause I just took this small break to like, kind of do this fun project and yeah. I'm like, totally broken my machine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> right. It is kind of, it's funny now. It's, Not really. Cause I can now. imagine in the moment there might've been <clears throat> a lot of swearing and yeah, I had to walk away for a while and oh, then yeah. I like came back downstairs to like try to disassemble things again and, yeah. and start work because every time I would like take all the stuff out and I would reload the bobbin and I would reload yeah. the thread and I would try to sew again and it would just like <laughs> on the back look it was yeah. just like oh my god um so once the little automatic color thing fell out and I put everything back together again it it was working mm -hmm. Um, it's still not super happy if I try to backstitch, so I have to like backstitch really carefully. No. And it's making like this clumpy, clumpy, clumpy noise like every time oh, I sew. Oh, something just needs calibration something maybe, right? Like needs, it just got a little out of whack. Yeah, maybe. something got out of whack down there, like a little bent or something. Yeah. Um, but it was working fine enough for me to finish the sewing. It's just the machine was loud mm -hmm. and clearly angry. <laughs> um, <Sorry>. But <laughs> I managed to finish those things. So now the machine is in timeout. Yeah, um, you should I take it over to the nice Vac City man. Time fix it. to take it somewhere to have it. So it probably needs to be serviced anyway. Cleaned, cleaned, yeah. and serviced, and all that um, fleece broke out of there. Yeah, I mean, I try to <laughs> yeah get it, but there's only no, so but much you can, can do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, particularly since everything, it's not like the old style machines where you could really take them kind of apart and do like the self cleaning yeah. stuff at home. Yeah. Like everything's enclosed and like you can't unless you have like special oh, tools. Mine is like, old. Yeah. Mine was a graduation present oh. from college. So, and it's yeah. been fine all these years. Yeah. Not really. I mean, it's had to be serviced and cleaned, but I just mean, yeah. I've never bothered to replace it because I. Right. Why not? It works. It works fine. Um, I mean, yeah. I I will admit I went and looked at on Amazon to find out oh, how quickly sure. a brand new one could be shipped to me of the <laughs> same one, and then I was like, "This is ridiculous! Like, it's yeah. still working. Like, it's yeah." Um, but yeah, it was real touch and go there. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So anyway, anywho, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the regular scheduled program right. of the yarn cast. Yarn cast, <laughs> not sewing and me breaking a sewing machine. Um, oh dear. So we like to start our yarn cast um, occasionally before I derail <laughs> uh, with our um, with our yarn cast pick. Mm -hmm. um, and so the way this works is we're going to show you a yarn. Uh, we're going to give you a code, and then that code will get you 10% off this product for two weeks um, following the airing of the podcast. So mm -hmm. um, from December 22nd to January 3rd. The 3rd, right? That, that can't be right. I cannot fifth. read it's the been... calendar. Yeah, it's the 5th. 
um, to January 5th. I just started scheduling it to January, so I'm that's, aware of the dates. That's yeah. not right. Yeah. Um, you can get 10% off of this product that we're going to show you right now. And I think we have shown this before. Um, it's not been a podcast pick, um, but we've shown it. We have some more colors mm -hmm. uh, that arrived. It's called Miss Me. Miss Me. Aerosol Miss Me, which yep. is 100% baby oh. alpaca so and a worsted soft. weight. It is incredibly soft. Yeah. With um, an amazing hat or an amazing cowl. Oh, yeah, it's or lovely. Or fingerless mitts. Yeah. And, yeah, it's so, it's like cashmere. It's so soft. So soft. So we have uh, some beautiful colors. Um, so this yarn, uh, because it is 100% baby alpaca, retails for $29.99. Um, so it's a little more, you know, decadent, a little on the higher price point. Uh, Jen says it's a worsted weight yarn. These are 100 gram skeins, 218 yards. Um, so pretty standard worsted weight. Um, and it knits up um, because of all the little colors in there. It's, uh, it looks marled when it's knit up, yeah. um, but like in a really subtle way. Yes. It's not like stripey or Very some cool. of these, like this color is not new, but I just cannot Gorgeous. love that one. Yeah. I think these are the two new ones, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the purple one from before. I like before. that purple one I know, lot. yeah. Can you imagine all the little girls in the world? <laughs> and lots of other people as well. I mm -hmm. don't mean to, but I just... I just think of my niece as when she was eight years old, this would have been, she would have been. Oh, I've got one that would yeah. be all yeah. in for that. And then this really pretty yellow and green, a little hint of orange in there. Yeah. Yep. Wheat, um, so color. why don't we make our code YP miss me. M-I-S-M-I. And we'll put it up on the screen so you can see how that's spelled. Oh, I forget yep. that that happens. Why he <laughs> miss me um, for ten percent off the next yeah. two weeks? Yeah, that's so soft. Right? It's amazing. Yeah, oh, so nice. Sorry, I was just thinking about a few few gifts that are not made yet. <laughs> yeah. For the people I see after the holidays, because that we there's there's definitely like almost a spreadsheet of like. Yeah work it behind the scenes orchestration right. of timing of things. And it's not like I don't have a million whips that I could be working on because once I finish these, then I'm not allowed to cast on. Well, that's not really true. So when you lose an hour or two to a sewing machine <laughs> debacle. Right. Uh, messes with your schedule. <laughs> yes. I, uh, no, I was thinking I could cast on something. I could work on a whip next week while I'm gone before mm. we do our New Year's mm -hmm. Eve cast on, uh, but I could actually cast on something else, which mm. we'll talk about okay. in a bit. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Um, so what are you wearing today? I am wearing my very own design, uh, a pretty luxe shawl, um, which That's can be either a fun. big triangle or... And honestly, I'm always, I always feel like saying, so I was knitting with mohair before it was popular. <laughs> I designed this pattern before it was uh, exciting. So it, there is mohair held all the way through. Um, and this is with uh, Noro uh, and mohair. And the mohair is navy blue, but the mohair, okay. yeah. Um, and then there's another, the pattern has either a triangle or a crescent shaped shawl. Okay, Cause cool. I, that silvery shawl that I wear all the time. Yeah. I wear it a lot, actually. That little crescent, because it's perfect. Right, it's the right size. Yeah. yeah, so it's meant to be knit with a soft or sparkly. I was just going to say, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yarn held with mohair to make the sort of... The little eyelet thing. Yeah, big. And it's knit on like size eight, I want to say. So... Fast project. Yeah, and it's... Um, yeah, I wear it a lot, actually. Because, nice. of course, these are my colors. <laughs> right? Sorry, now I can't get it back on. And it's very warm without being, like, overpowering, even though it's a pretty good size. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing. Well, I'm also Thanks, uh, opted <laughs> for a shawl today. Um, there. Mostly because... It's I'm chilly at. this morning. It was chilly. It went from I didn't 50 really to 30. Wear a sweater. Uh, I know. That's why I also had good yeah. court today. So, um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, so this is the hydrangea shawl. Mm -hmm. I also wear this one a lot. The one I never made. Yeah. <laughs> um, I started. I wonder where that yarn is. Because again, it's it, this one is a fingering weight, but it's like the right size, right the color, right color. It goes with everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's super warm, but you can also like loosen it up. Yeah. So it you you can regulate temperature pretty well with this one, mm -hmm. um, but it will keep you really warm. Yeah. It's got the yarn's got silk in it and it's just like It's so funny. I can't remember what happened to that yarn. Mm -hmm. I was going to make it. Yeah. I remember it's so funny now because it was a while ago. Back. Was but uh, before we opened the store. Yeah, like ten, twelve um, years ago maybe. It was right before we opened the store. It was like that summer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It was a little confusing, the pattern, to begin with. I remember, like, you knit the long part and then you had to pick up stitches or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I messed up with my stitch count or something and I mm. got frustrated and then I put it away and who knows It hasn't it come out of time out yet. I think I undid it all because mm -hmm. it, what I had done was wrong enough that, yeah, you're like, you know, I would have had work. to make the little edge again. Yep. And I think it's sad mm. after that. I thought to myself, hmm, hmm. this is annoying. I don't yeah. really want to make this. <laughs> So, um, pretty yarn though. Now that I think about it, mine it was like pretty. that turquoise kind of color, yeah, you know, that I love so much. Yeah. <laughs> do um, do you have any finished? Are you objects? kidding? Okay. Well, I just I had to ask. <laughs> no. I had to ask. No. Um, I did a lot of knitting while I was traveling. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, it's yeah. Nope. Okay. I have two, but they're smaller things. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, you had them. things you had to get done. You have a different time schedule than I do. Mine needs to be done in time to be washed and packaged before the twenty fifth. All right, you had um, stuff that had to go. So, mom, if you're watching this on Friday, sorry. <laughs> you're getting that's a, nice, isn't it, Sharon? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> a sneak preview. Um, so these are. <laughs> the waveform. At least they're mitts. beautiful. <laughs> yes. Oh, they look great. They're beautiful. Thank you. They turned out really well. Mm -hmm. They kind of became a little um, like that addictive knitting where you're mm -hmm. just like, oh, yeah. I'm just going to keep going because not going to curve this way. <laughs> right. Not only are you alternating yarns between the solid and the oh, and really? a, and a variegated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's striped. In Is there. it mosaic? Um, oh, okay. Your oh, no, your I see. Yeah. This is like a cable kind of um, mock. You can show off your nails while you're doing this because right. they're fun. They are fun. <laughs> and they glow in the dark. Um, <laughs> which is even more fun. You can find your hand in the dark if you need to. <laughs> scared me the first time when I turned the lights <laughs> off because I was like, whoa. Wait. You wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, ooh. It's only, it's only the ones with the Christmas lights on them. No. Um, so only three of them are. <laughs> and I think the penguin, if I hold it under the lights, um, there's little lights on him that also glow in the dark but anyway uh so just little fingerless mitts they're worsted weight they're really pretty um thank you i uh, was enjoy fun... them sharon i'm sure they'll be <laughs> i'm sure they'll be nice and warm <laughs> maybe you should send your mom a quick note do not watch the podcast or yarn cast until after no the because if i do Christmas that day. then she'll go out and actually watch it where maybe she'll i don't know anyway it doesn't matter merry christmas mom <laughs> Um, these are on from all of us at Must Love Yarn. I'm putting these in the mail to you tomorrow. Um, your box didn't go today because I need to show them on the podcast. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome if your box shows up late. <laughs> oh boy. So when I mailed yeah. stuff today, um, boxes today, the post office told me it was going to get to the West Coast by like Thursday. So I was like, really? Like mm. that seems fast, but okay. Priority mail. It was priority mail. Um, so yeah. I suppose if I mail these tomorrow, you'll get them Friday, maybe Saturday. So depending on whether you decide to open them they might. and unwrap them well, it's before Christmas, you may or may not see them before the podcast. Well, sorry. There's other things in the box that you don't know are there. So just this so there's a little ruined. bit of, of gifty surprise. Wait. Yeah. All right. So just this one's been really, <laughs> but I needed it for the, I needed content for the podcast. So we needed to have at least one finished object on this podcast. <laughs> I have a, I have a second finished object. Luckily, those, yeah, just carrying us forward. Gorgeous not to show. Yes, I um, agree. So that yarn is a Malabrigo Rios. That's the colored, color, colorful yarn, mm -hmm. uh, multicolored yarn. And then the 
Um, other yarn is, do I have the tag? There's the Rios. You can, oh yeah, it's the um, Anniversario. This is, you should go look at my project page so I can tell you, um, solid one. But I have I like lots them. of like good leftovers. You do. Um, which is doesn't make me mad. No. Because I feel like I could use this stuff for other things. Mm-hmm. Um what is even happening? Oh, because I marked them as finished. So they're down with the finished objects, not Ravelry. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> Um, this is Queensland mm. uh, collection, the Falkland, Falkland Worsted, yep. um, which is really nice to work with. This is like 100% merino. It's so soft and squishy. But it's a super wash. Super wash. Yeah, both of yeah. these yarns are really super squishy. So you could wash your gloves. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can. If need be. Yes. Um, so yeah, so that's done. Um, I think I had cast on a Snowball's Chance hat last time when we were here i maybe had just cast it on or i was talking about it um oh yeah i finished yes. it yeah oh, so pretty. it's got a cute little like cable mm -hmm. detail in there mm -hmm. um this is again a, probably a gift i don't know i think i'm That's gonna nice. just pull out thank you um lay out a pile of hats and have the children go through and be like pick out who's gone who's, yeah which teachers are getting what you might want to hide that one behind a pillow so you can keep it <laughs> no i might have i can get more of this yarn yeah, i know i used a ton of yarn to make this pom-pom which oh this is a lion brand one this is a lion brand this is scarfy mm -hmm. <laughs> that's interested <laughs> um it's not bad to work with it's like a acrylic a wool mm -hmm. blend it's like a 70 30 mm -hmm. um feels really kind of wooly because it just the way it's like it's almost like a single ply yeah um, kind of thing uh so i made this giant pom-pom but i i only have little snips up in my knitting area and i need bigger i can't do this with little like embroidery snips <laughs> it's too much yarn there i need actual like legit scissors uh so it's too scary to cut it on the on the yarn cast yeah i have to take it down um into the yarn the the dungeon craft dungeon um to get some legit fabric scissors to cut this part yeah. so it'll cut it's gonna be a massive pom-pom mm -hmm. it might be too big i think it'll be fun though i think it'll be good <laughs> it'll be good because it's gonna ombre um yeah. in there and i tried to match the sides but yeah that's gonna be um interesting pictures, so you have to post a picture i will post pictures of the um of the pom-pom um, but this is a great fun little pattern. Uh, mm -hmm. It calls for bulky, it's bulky yarn. I did do one more um, of the chart repeat. Mm -hmm. So it called for three and I did four because I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, I would think you ah, it's not going to be tall enough, but remember, I'm also a pretty tight knitter. So my oh. row gauge is almost always off. Yeah. Um, but this is like the right sized hat to cover your ears here, which is yeah. like what you want. Yeah. Um, for a hat. Yeah, I wouldn't so, have wanted it to be any shorter. No. So I'm really glad I added an extra repeat uh, for that. Yeah. So that was, it was fun. This is kind of fun yarn with a little ombre kind of, mm -hmm. it comes in a bunch of different colors. We might have to so. talk to our buyer. Yeah, about getting some lion brand stuff in here. They yeah. have some nice, some nice They yarns. do have, I, I've always enjoyed some yeah. of their yarns. And they also have some stuff available. For wholesale that they don't at sell. At local yarn stores. Yeah. I think that they don't sell uh, so like in the mass market, but I could be wrong about that. So okay. I don't want to say that out. I did just say it out loud. You did say it out loud. With a caveat that yeah. I'm quite likely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're looking for a quick little like hat project, like mm -hmm. that's, um it was fun just a fun little cable detail yeah. to it just add a little interest yeah um you know going into uh works in progress i did actually cast on another this is another color version of scarfy I'll just pull this out this, this ball, they're enormous so i was gonna say how much did you use up most of it with the pom-pom i used up a huge i probably used almost as much for the pom-pom as I did for this hat. I just was curious like how much you used because they're 150 grams, right? They're, yeah, 150 I, grams. I guess I was trying to, fit, you could get two hats, you think? I could probably knit another hat with the leftovers. If you didn't make a pom-pom. If I didn't make a pom-pom. Mm -hmm. um, 
and you know cabling does take more yarn yeah. so i'm uh this one i'm doing just plain mm -hmm. so i'm following the same pattern i just instead of doing the cable detail i'm just knitting stockinette yeah. so we'll see and i can weigh the hat when i'm done to see mm -hmm. how much is left yeah so nice because i just i needed to just fly and not have to yeah pay attention to a pattern well and the yarn changes color so that'll right. it'll do its own thing exactly exactly yeah. uh this one may or may not have a pom-pom this is definitely more of like um a little more of a masculine color mm -hmm. i mean i like it i love this green yeah so i was just gonna say i think it's unisex but you could this will work better for any male teachers which mm -hmm. my kids do have some mm -hmm. um than the purple though some boys and guys i don't know i mean like it's purple. not terrible i, mean, it's, I, I like it say. first of all right who knows right. everybody loves right. every color but, Whatever, but yeah yeah no judgment here i like all the colors in the world so, so um, yeah but what color is oh, but i don't is, think it's a particularly girly girly purple no, evergreen to pearl gray is what this one's called mm -hmm. the greens. yeah those are kind of fun it is fun i have a, a black to red so mm -hmm. it a bunch of i don't know if joanne's is like not carrying these anymore because the worsted weight ones aren't on their website anymore and these mm -hmm. were on like super sale when i bought them oh um, yeah which is part of the reason why I bought three skeins instead of just buying <laughs> one. Um, well, and I'm guessing the price was pretty good even before the sale. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the sale and and what did you say it was again? It's 150 grams. Oh, a it's bit an of wool. acrylic and wool blend. It's like 75, 25, right? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, yeah. 28, 22. Yep. Yeah. So and you can see like it is it is like a single ply, kind of acts like a single ply there. Mm -hmm. But you can, you can see. It has a the, nice texture, though. Can see the acrylic yeah. thread, and then like, it's like the wool is just kind of Spun single plied yeah. around it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's you know it's fine to work with. It mm -hmm. feels nice on the hands. Um, mm -hmm. The wool just gives it a little more. Yeah. Interest and. In yeah. Character. So I have to measure this before I go too much further. <laughs> so what do you? So you have a hat that's on its way to being done there. It's a sock head Almost slouch. an F.O. Yes, although I haven't started decreasing, so I got a, it's for my brother-in-law, he has a good sized head, I probably should measure though. Yes. Um, so I think I had not started this on the last podcast, you and I think- getting ready to watch Oh, you know what? I cast it on by the end of the week because I remember I had a project page with like half an inch. Mm -hmm. um, that I'd put together before we posted show notes. Okay. Um, and I did that so that I could just bring it with me. Um, and I probably knit like this much of it at my conference, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, and this is mustache yarn, um, which, and it's funny, uh, when I went to wind it, I forgot. Uh, she packages her uh, yarn in two skeins yeah. uh, that are matched. And yep. so I haven't actually gotten, uh, so I tied them together when I wound it up. Um, so you haven't gotten to the, I haven't gotten to the halfway part. point yet. So, um, cool. and I knit a really long brim. I mean, it is supposed to be four inches. I think it's a little bit more than that. So it has a good turn up. Um, I do feel like it's kind of loose, um, but that's fine. I can always wash it and give it a little. Yeah. I think that must be Ariana leaving. Yeah. Um, so should be done easily before, uh, before the big day. And I'll stop knitting now because I've probably gone too far. Yeah. I kept thinking, oh, I got to measure it. I got to measure it. And then right. I kept going. Kept going. It's one of those little, I've just been I'm, picking it up and picking I'm, it up and I'm, picking it up. Oh, I do have one over there, but I didn't want to go over there and grab it because uh, All right. So I've got that. And I have um, worked on and off mm -hmm. um, on my field sweater. Mm -hmm. oh. Have you noticed there's like 12? Need some floss? No. Can you see that tape measure? There you go. Tape measure for it. <laughs> I know I had one. Uh, because what I was finding was I needed to do a little bit of knitting for myself. So like the last like half an hour or so before I would go to bed, mm -hmm. I would put everything else down and mm -hmm. just knit on this for me. Yeah. Um, That's good. Yeah. Sometimes so, eat, if you just do half an hour, like... Yeah. It's amazing. You can actually make real progress on something. So I've divided for the sleeves. Yeah. And, um, made pretty good progress down yeah. the body. 
I think you had divided maybe. I had. Time. I yeah. hadn't gone very far. So yeah, I've just added like an inch a number of inches. Yeah. Because uh, for a time, this was the only just plain stockinette project yeah. that I had. Mm -hmm. um, so it was going places with yeah. me if I knew yeah. I was going to have time to sit in it because yeah. like I couldn't, that had a chart, that had a chart, like yeah. everything had charts. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So yeah, it did make pretty good progress. This bare naked yeah. is so gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a delight to knit with. Yeah. It's so, it is really soft. Yeah. yeah. And the fabric I'm getting is mm -hmm. just, it's going to be really wearable for me. Yeah. Um, um, but one of our employees, Krista, posted over the weekend and she Chris, stopped in. Yeah. She did the cardigan and she stopped in yesterday, Sunday, whatever day it was. Um, it's so gorgeous in person. It's really, cause oh. it's gold colored. Oh. And what you can tell in the picture, the mohair really makes it sparkle a little bit. Oh, it's really, wow. you could just wear it with jeans, but you could also really dress, dress it, it up. up. Yeah, it's awesome. beautiful. And she made a little tiny one that she didn't have with her for her uh, granddaughter, I think. So it's oh. super cute. So and I just noticed incredible. today that Camila Vaud uh, released a junior, or is in the midst of doing a junior pattern, but uh, Krista just sort of downsized yeah. it. But yeah, and Not since then, there's mid, there's a mids pattern. The slip over. I was looking at the slip over where the pattern is down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a little yeah. vest. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's lots of options. Yeah. I was eyeballing the mids mm -hmm. um, because it mm -hmm. uses. Um, the Cardiff cashmere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotta finish the sweater first. <laughs> That's right. That's finish right. The sweater first. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, I've still been sort of plugging away at that. Mm -hmm. um, I have not cast on uh, Arctic, the Arctic socks. Um, polar. Polar Arctic. I haven't Arctic either, socks. but I have one more whip here before we. Um, yeah. So, getting there on this awesome. vest. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah. So that's the front, actually. This is the back. And it's interesting, about part way through in the, so I am just about um, where I, I think you knit to like within an inch of the neckline and then you do a little bit to get the neckline mm -hmm. some shape. And then I just have to do the, there's, it's really small ribbing around the neckline and the sleeves. Yep. <clears throat> so I'll have to pick up and do that. A little bit more work to be done, but I think I'm in good shape for getting it done for the weekend. I will say that uh, I, at one point I was like, right, so when you separate for the front and you're using a variegated yarn, oh. it's going to be, but it actually, it's funny, like you can't, it doesn't look different. Um, so I was nervous that this would be like blue and this would be purple, whatever. You know, the gradation on my variegated yarn, it's a feeder brook yarn, is not huge. So, but it's funny to me uh, that it actually looks pretty consistent. Um, but then the back, of course, is different. It's a different color. Yeah, because now it's getting actually into a really light cream color at the top. Yeah. So it'll meet the green, but it's fine. That's okay. Yeah, it looks fine. So I am at the point where I will be happy when this is uh, done. <laughs> It's really an easy, fun knit, in fairness, and um, but I'm just tired. Like the mohair keeps attacking everything, yep. and I'm just tired of the. That is the, that is the problem with mohair. Yes. is that it likes to yes. attack everything. Right. So this is Barocco Ariel. It is a really beautiful color. I have mm -hmm. to say, it's not my normal color. My sister will love it. Um, I feel like I used that one when I knit the love note. That that's the Maybe. one that I yeah. made with that. It's got just some real, it's really yeah. got a lot more depth than it seems like it does. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is, uh, as I said, Federbrook A color way. Whatever. They don't label yeah. them, so I don't know what it's really called. Um, and then this is Green Mountain Spinnery Alpaca Elegance, I want to say. Um, I think it's blue lotus is the colorway. So that's the blue that's held all the way through. Awesome. So yes. It looks great. Yeah, it'll be good when it's done. I so I like it. Like the uh the mohair choice. I know yeah. you were back and forth about Yeah, whether long. I'm glad I didn't do the cream now. Yeah. And it does look a little short to me. Um, but I I did what I was supposed to. And also the other thing is that when I block it and the stupid yeah. ribbing lays down, which Stops is another thing. Flipping up. Yeah. Yeah. When I block it, It'll instead be of being longer. like wide, 
yeah. it's gonna block this yeah. way instead and yeah. get a little bit longer so yeah um yeah the fabric because it's mosaic the fabric gets a little bunched up so mm -hmm. um it'll stretch out a little bit when i yeah. block it so awesome yes um so in the world of next things yeah, uh, I was just going to report in on the autumn wheat bobble ornament. Um, oh, yeah. Debacle, oh, right. Crochet debacle. That's right. Um, thank you to everybody who offered I go read some the comments. helpful <laughs> I suggestions haven't had a chance, but I bet they were in awesome. the comments. Mm -hmm. um, I have just not had a chance to pick that one back up because oh. I've had so many other things you had to get done. that, that a, had to get done. That was more of fun. just like a fun yeah. for funsies. Yeah. Um, so it's on the list of things to kind of play with mm -hmm. over the holiday weekend for me because mm -hmm. I will have wrapped up a lot of this stuff yeah. um, and can kind of transition to do be doing other things. Mm -hmm. um, so I will post pictures on Instagram. Um, yeah. If I get if I get it sorted, and even if I don't get it sorted, I'll still post the pictures of yeah. the hot mess. Yeah. Um. But yes, thank you for the suggestions. There were folks that were like, "Oh yeah, this is totally what you're doing." Like they knew immediately <laughs> um, what was happening. Yeah. So, um, I'm not you all are amazing, and I read all of your comments and thank you for the help. <laughs> we'll see if I can pull this off because I think it's a cool looking ornament. Yeah. 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 It'll be good to figure it out. Yeah. Um, and then once I figure it out, I'm going to make like 700 billion of them. They would be really good for the craft holiday bazaar of next year. You could spend so, all year making them. If I do, we'll see. Well, anyway, well, yes. One year I did make like 20 some gnomes. I where remember. I knitted the little hats. <laughs> and I did it like in two weeks because I'm a crazy person. Yeah. That's so why I said all year long, decision. you can just have right. a little... But again, oh, no, I don't going. need these till next December. So let's just put I it off right around Thanksgiving. November, <laughs> December time. 5th when I'm Good like, time. wait, holiday Sorry. bazaars when? <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that's fun. All right. So yeah. you've got... Yes. The yes, I had wound art. up my pretty felt garland oh, from Wollens and Nosh. I um, hadn't even gotten that far. Well, because I <laughs> was gung-ho and yes. I think I showed this before so that'll be fun and I was thinking that once I finish these two projects I would cast these on mm, cool. um that'll be my awesome travel knit next week maybe. I have we'll the pattern see. I still am waffling about what yarn I'm gonna use um so I made signs for the store oh yes the polar arc along <laughs> <laughs> Which it's, Jen and I were all gung-ho It started about. on December 1st, for we, those of you. <laughs> it's now the 19th. Yes. Neither Jen or I have cast on for it yet. It's also due by January 31st. We There's a zero, that. zero chance that I will have finished we my socks by then. totally extend that. I, I have a well, pair of socks I started six years ago, but still so have not been finished. I also saw that she's releasing soon a top-down version yes. of Polar Art. Oh, well, you know me. I might be waiting for that one. Oh, sure. I'm much more comfortable doing top socks. I would rather do socks. two at a time toe up because I like to get them done uh, if I'm going to, rather than do one and then have to do the second That's one. my story and I'm sticking to it yeah, as to sure. why I haven't started yet because I'm mm -hmm. waiting for the top down one to be released. Yeah, sure. Of course sure. you are. <laughs> right. Right. Wee! Right. So... Yes. Um, and then we also have our temperature blanket make along. Mm -hmm. I think there's some people joining. I'm Us. thinking about it. I still have time to like get my stuff. January first. I had I had cannot a hair start until January first because we have to know what the temperature is. I there's a number of crochet versions of there the temperature are a ton. blanket. Yeah. And I was like maybe I could do this as a crochet project. As yeah, practice. I put up a whole crocheting. bunch of examples in our little thing to post. But yeah. But this one is crochet. I really love this one. Mm -hmm. I think that one's really beautiful. Yep, with uh, the little circles. Yeah. And then uh, this is actually crocheted, this big circle one, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously the little granny square, square one. Is, yeah. And the other ones are knit. Yeah. And mine is going to be some version of this, but with a lot more color. I will say I do like the look of that one with the yeah. block, with the month blocks. Mm -hmm. Um and I have a lot more colors. Yeah. She only did six and I have nine. Yeah. <laughs> so 
yeah. <laughs> Plus I'm doing the extremes so that I get like real color variation yeah. across them. Um, so there's still Everybody time for me to decide yeah. that I want to jump on that bandwagon. Yeah. Buy a bunch of yarn and then, you know, mm -hmm. go at it for like a month and then be like, ah. Ooh, I like shiny. the idea of the blocks because also it's like easy portable right knitting. Yeah, I say that having to carry around these would two of the little like circle squares. Yes, but that's crochet. So. I know crochet is not on my list, <laughs> but yeah, and so that runs all year long. So at the very least, you could start keeping track of the temperatures right. that you want to use on January first. Right. You maybe. can start it in June if you want to. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll do that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Right. Have high, there's no, high dreams. There's no uh, no necessity to start it on January right? 1st, but I'm ready. I have to roll up my yarn or whatever, ball up my yarn, but I'm ready. Take it up. Yes. So next in the make-alongs, and I have my stuff with me today. Oh, cool. Is our Caitlin Hunter make-along, which whoop. begins on December 31st. For the New Year's Eve cast on Where's party. That? So I'm hanging. Very I did excited. post this on the internet. On the intertubes. So the sign-on info is at the bottom mm -hmm. here, and on the on our post. And I'll post it again next weekend or whenever. Yep. To remind people, seven to nine p.m. December thirty-first. Eastern 31st. Standard Time. I answered that. Yes, I saw someone had a question about that. Sorry. Um, we're doing it in our time zone. In our time zone. <laughs> so, yes, that's that, uh, and it's virtual. Mm -hmm. um, cast on party as mentioned before and so Caitlin Hunter so many fun things so many fun things I am um, I actually bought some of her patterns this yeah. weekend just because I was eyeing oh, them there, there it is so there it is the halibut. that's the halibut and it will be oh, here's my cone of yarn I had to go drag it down oh no cone of yes. yarn yes and then a matching white the and cones of yarn with the white and this is really pretty it's, got it's blue a and gorgeous green. blue but yeah. it's got some there's a darker teal heather. blue that i also have um and then for the little fishes i'm gonna carry the stellaris with my white nice. so i have iridescent little fishes that's gonna be gorgeous it's gonna be exciting so fun it will be fun with the same one i have bought one of these stellaris things and i <laughs> the never did, ending like, roll three Sophie scarves. I did my hat, which is barely seen. This is our little take a ribbing Santa hat. It's so stretched out. It's so stretched <laughs> out. Sad. It's been sitting in the store all summer, all, uh, all year. I've never worn this hat that I made at last year's conference where I started. <laughs> yes. So anyway, um, this is the take a ribbing hat mm -hmm. available on Ravelry. I've fun. made a few of those last yeah, year. They're fun. A little Santa fun for people. Super fun. But anyway, same Stellaris. It's Interesting uh, as it's held with the red. Actually, mm -hmm. I forgot that that's why I brought it down. So that is all the green and the sparkle is all from the Stellaris because I held it with the mohair was red. And I think I had a skein of Rowan felted tweed red. So it's interesting how much color it can add. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be, I'll be really curious to see how much color it adds yeah, to the white, to the but white. I think it's going to be fun. I think it will be fun. I'm excited. So I am waffling between Birkin. Which is um, here. Oh, did you? It's one of the ones, ones that's on there. the tiny little one here, tiny this one. one. Um, I would do Birkin in one counter color. And I got that. Oh, really? So well, great. I got that sparkle yarn oh, from right. CC Yeah. that I think would be gorgeous. There's a lot of color there, though. Oh, I know. But I've seen some that are just two color, and they're equally gorgeous. Oh, do you think you have enough? I have an extra skein of that. Yeah, you have an extra one if I need. But yeah. I also um, am really enamored with um, Autumn Alpine. Which is also here because I bought the pattern just because. Yeah. Because it's so pretty. But I think that one, is that one DK weight yarn? Well, let us look. Probably she loves DK weight. Yeah. Um, yes, it's been cycle. Okay. It's actually, um, it's the same yarns that are called for in this tessellated vest, which I forgot to mention for those that were wondering. <laughs> so bad. The vest that I'm making for my sister is the tessellated vest by Andrea Mowry. 
those that were wondering. People will be watching this and they'll be, be like, like what? what is even happening? I don't even know what's being made. We link to everything in show notes. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions, um, most of the yeah. time our project pages are pretty um, up to date. <clears throat> so she has this long sleeved sweater and then Alpine Bloom is, is a short sleeved a short sleeve tee, which has a different I, I bought this one because I thought that if I wanted to make a tee I could. Mm -hmm. Um but I like the long sleeves and I like this interesting textured detail down at the yep. bottom here. Yep. If you're looking for a really beautiful one, uh can and hand dies. Oh my god, oh my god. it's so, so beautiful. Amazing. She has like all the colors. It's gorgeous. She did like um she held her mini skeins double like I did for Avino mm -hmm. and then kind of like radiated them through the yoke. It's just it's gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then I did print the hat just on the off chance that I got the, inspired because it's amazing so too. pretty. Yeah. If I can't, you know, yeah. get my stuff together, I'll just maybe do the hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So these sweater pattern, the two sweater patterns were each $9 on Ravelry. <clears throat> the hat pattern is a $5 pattern on Ravelry. Yep. So having just purchased them, I'm aware of that. Yep. All right. So all my papers <clears throat> are down to just the one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we have our winter classes are posted. Yes, uh, I forgot to make a sign for those. Folks have been signing up for those all over the place. We've got yeah. a bunch of different yeah. ones. Um, we still have kids camps, I mm -hmm. think, for February and yep. maybe even January and March. Um, we have several Learn to Knit and Learn to Crochet offerings. And then I think there's just a smattering of other things yep. as well. Probably a sweater together kind of one. Yep, totally. Totally. I'm making all that up. I have no I, idea. We have no idea. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Ariana was, uh, she did send them to us and uh, I was I looked at them once and um, I was doing something yeah. else. Yep. Ooh, oh, there we there are. There goes the lights. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Uh, and retreat, registration for the retreat is open. Uh, I might have heard. The QR code might even work. You never know. It probably will. I'll hold it there um, for a minute just in case. I've heard a rumor that Cully is going to be joining us. More than a rumor. <laughs> uh, for part of the festivities. Yeah. Uh, We're so excited about that. That's amazing. Get the band back together. The band is getting back together. <laughs> uh, so it'll be fun. So yeah. she's going to come hang out with us uh, for a little bit. And mm -hmm. she's going to be part of the marketplace. Um, so it'll be awesome. Yeah. And amazing. Yeah. We haven't been posting about it a lot, a little bit. We'll do more once the holidays are sort of, at least yep. Christmas is yep. underway. So, but, uh, don't wait too long to register because at some point here, I'm going to have, where I have to close registration just yeah. because the, um, hotel needs final numbers and we have to start, yeah. you know, transitioning to setting menus and things yeah. like that. So January sometime. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. So it'll be fun. Like, yes, I think, it you will know, be super fun. The idea is it for it to be a place for you to come, relax, hang out with other like minded fiber friends, um, make some new friends, see some old friends. Um, it doesn't require you to be an expert knitter Not or anything. Uh, the we offer classes, but it's not really a class or technique focused um, type of retreat. It's really intended, as we have named it, is just to come unwind. Come spend some time for yourself. Um, come just, it's like a weekend long knit group almost. Or yeah, and the classes are really, group or, they're not yeah. specifically technique. They're more about, hmm, here's another yarn craft that you could do. Here's another thing that you could do. Have with something own. fun. Yeah. Um, again, just to that whole theme of just unwind, yeah. relax, hang out, um, spend some, have some downtime. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, we, I have we, a spa treatment. Yeah. We go to, you know, fiber <laughs> festivals, we go to folk knitting live yeah. occasionally. And I, the, the energy there is at times amazing, but it also feels very like frantic and it's like a little exhausting. Yeah. Helter skelter and you've got a scurry here and you got a scurry there. Yeah. And like the idea is just like just let's relax. Yeah. Let's calm down. Yeah. Take a break. 
just have, have some, some fun have some fun have some downtime and get to hang, hang out with your people right? right yeah like if you talk to non-fiber people try to talk to them about any of this at all like what happens <laughs> like their eyes glaze over and they start you can see them start to zone out and they just are or they look at or you they like look like hmm, really what really Very you do perplexing. that yeah <laughs> why right that seems odd how much is it like <laughs> right right uh but you can always tell fellow fiber folks because that's a completely different reaction so yes it's like a weekend of that hanging yes. out with your fiber your friends yeah your people yeah so come, come. it'll be fun so fun yeah so fun i'm excited yeah it'll be good they've totally blocked out my schedule for those two days of the week I should probably plus the weekend. Well, the week, yeah, but that's that's I have a hundred percent control of my schedule on the weekend. <laughs> During the week, not so much, right? Unless I specifically block it out. That's right. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another reason to register relatively soon is um, it is a full service spa, mm -hmm. and so, but they yeah. probably have limited <laughs> numbers of massages available. Yeah. For example, so yeah, massage so or if you spa want treatment a spa or treatment, um, you might want to. Yeah sort that out yeah but yep all right so um i uh we did want to just uh in case folks haven't seen the prior few uh yarn casts uh to just let folks know that we uh now have a supply of bearded pearl bags mm -hmm. uh, in the shop and they're also available online ariana did an amazing job taking pictures yeah. Um, of all of them, so we have the sh shawl sized and the sock sized. The sock sized. Um, we have a bunch. You know, we have ten different colors, maybe. Yeah, eight to ten different colors. Yeah. A wide range. Yeah, folks. Yeah. I mean, they have been. Um, there's been a, we have a lot less than we did when I was here a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, no, we've been selling them, um, quite a bit. but we still have a few. Yeah. So if you've been eyeballing them, don't wait too long. We uh, yeah, done kind of Christmas list. Uh, pick some of our festive colors right here. Uh, and I will say they're deceptively large. So yeah. I pulled this giant skein <laughs> out of this sock size bag. Now I will, in the interest of full disclosure, it was literally the only thing that would fit in here, but it did fit in there. And so, there's something else crinkling around in there. Don't let her fool you. She's got some other stuff in there. And there's um, like maybe like a notions pouch that's on the bottom. And maybe a set of me a pair of needles. And I think a hat. Like, a half look. finished hat. Yeah. Yeah. It it fits. Like you can make it fit and then this goes right on top and it's it's totally fine. Because it will scratch yeah. down. Because it's yarn. Yes. Yes indeed. Yeah, they're really so, beautifully made. Oh, gorgeous. Um, yeah. And they I love this little one. And they also you can turn them into a little bucket. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know. I told Jen when we went to Rambeck, I was like, I want a new bag to wear on my arm mm -hmm. when I'm out walking around. Mm -hmm. And she found and one. And I found one. And we have some just like that as well, I think. We have a big one, I combo. think. That's this combo, yeah. which I totally love with the little birds. Yeah. 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 Lots of fun patterns. Yeah. So oh. we have those too. So all kinds of fun things. Yeah. But. And then I think the last... Um, Thing we forgot to mention, our friend the mannequin is wearing oh, yes. um, the what did I call this pattern? Unfold your wings oh, uh, shawl, your wings. and so um, we still have some seasons some, of Vermont kits. Some kits. Yeah. yeah, so they come with this, this gorgeous, beautiful bag. bag so that Joan beautiful. Fitz, you made for us. Her bags are so amazing. Um, pretty color. I mean, I would buy this kit just for the bag. I know the bag is really beautiful. So. Um, and she had, and it, they have little. We had a little set of stitch markers that it's came so with it. Amazing! It's so a, fun. It's not a pocket. I thought it was. And so, um, we have a red, red, pink color, and then we have a couple of each of these colors left. So there's a teal combo. There's a hyacinth, which is like a blue purple combo. I feel like there was a blue as well. Um, oh we have yellow, which is vanilla cream, I think it's called. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have orange, which is persimmon. 
Um, and then the kits also come with like a, a little maple syrup. A little um, soap, soap that we can smell. <laughs> it smells, it smells so, so good. good. <laughs> yes. In fact, um, the, um, the yarn smells like yeah, the soap. <laughs> yeah. And then the pattern, obviously, yep. uh, with it as well. So yeah. those are great little kits. They were fun yeah. uh, to make. And so, as I said, we have a couple of each color, I think. So if you're looking for a little something for mm -hmm. yourself, um, the yarn was super fun to work with. And it makes, it's like, it's so, like, this shawl weighs almost nothing. It's a big, yeah. cozy. Again, yeah. kind of like that yeah. when you've got on. Yeah. But just with a different yeah. kind of yarn. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was thinking. Except for that it's on display. I should take that home. It could be my Christmas show. <laughs> right? There you go. <laughs> I never get to wear yeah. the Christmas things I make. Right? <laughs> the hat has lived here forever right. and the shawl too. Um, that could be it. No. I'm wearing my um, Katrinko, uh, oh. a pair of Katrinkles earrings. Mm -hmm. They're little man's with mm -hmm. uh, needle gauges on them because mm -hmm. that's how I roll. Um, I had somebody asked me, was it, maybe was it you? Cause I have this needle gauge ring mm. and they were like, oh, is that just for decoration? You never use oh, that. No. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I actually use this. Cause sometimes I can't like the yeah. things have worn off the needles and yeah. I can't tell what it yeah. is. This has actually been really handy. <laughs> I've used it more than once. Mm -hmm. um, plus it just looks cool. Yeah. So yeah. I have Christmas have trees. Little Christmas needle trees. gauge earrings. This is a little more ridiculous because I have to take the earrings out to use them as needle gauges, mm -hmm. but in a pinch, yeah. there they are. Plus they're fun. Well, moons mm -hmm. crescent moons and you have very pretty sparkle little green sparkle. christmas trees christmas trees i've been wearing them all week awesome they match everything i have some jingle bell earrings i'm gonna start wearing those oh, starting tomorrow that might irritate <laughs> me jingle 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 it probably will we'll see how long it lasts <laughs> right yeah i'm not sure i could stand that yeah. yeah every time you turn your head in the meeting <laughs> it could be good it might yeah. shorten some things up it could very well yes yeah. yes yes so, oh, all right. right. Well, I think it's um, time for us to wrap this up. Um, but yeah. thank you for spending some time with us, hanging out with us a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we know there's a lot of choices out there, so we appreciate you coming to spend some time and see what we're up to. That's right. So, have a happy holiday um, if you're celebrating. Yep. Whatever holiday that it is that you celebrate. And. Um, maybe make a plan to join us, new year's join eve. us yes. on new year's eve in case you need something fun to do right um and for those of you that are local the store is open on new year on christmas eve and new year's eve mm -hmm. normal hours so our neck groups will mm -hmm. maybe be here maybe not i don't know i guess i'll find what out what they have going on right exactly yeah. so in fact actually the holiday isn't really impacting our local hours at all no because we're closed on mondays yeah so, so. Next year, but Next not this year. year. Yeah. Next year it'll jump to like a Wednesday though, right? Because it's a leap year, so it always jumps right. two days. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's true. a leap year, so yeah. it's gonna really throw everything off. Yeah. Yeah, I just looked actually. Yeah, anyway, long yeah. story short. But yeah, yeah. Yes. I was looking ahead a year because I can't get through <laughs> There was yeah. something I needed to but see. It's, yeah. it's on a Wednesday. It's Wednesday right? next yeah. year. Yes. Yeah, that's gonna be a mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's nice that it's on Monday because you have the whole weekend ahead of time, but that's um, gonna be a mess because my kids are gonna, gonna have take that the whole, whole week, week off, off mm -hmm. and then they probably will have the whole next week off too because i can't imagine they'll go well, back the first is also a wednesday yeah i, I mean i suppose they could go back for thursday and friday but yeah it's kind of weird to say yeah hard to say yeah could be real fun next year yeah yep so anyway, anyway. let's get through this one first yeah, yeah. <laughs> So hopefully everyone has a lovely holiday and hopefully we'll see you on New Year's Eve. Yes. I don't think we'll be back. And if you can't, if you can't join us um, for the cast on party, join you us. Still just, cast you on. can still cast on. Yeah. Come join the along. That's yeah. right. The fish sweater will be going on the needles. I have to figure out which one I'm doing because I <laughs> might have to get yarn if it's the DK white one because I don't mm. know that I have mm. <clears throat> a solid color enough for a sweater quantity. Yeah. So. I have a little time to sort that out, but That's not true. too much time. You have a week. <laughs> Better get my right. stuff together. <laughs> right. I, as you can see, I am fully prepared. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited about not having to weave any ends in. That's amazing. <laughs> Except for that probably won't really work because I'm no, not to cut the yarn. The, yeah, point. when you do the sleeves and yes, stuff. Exactly. But, yeah. yeah stuff. It'll be limited. 
ends to weave in. True. I mean, yeah. I'm spit splicing my yarn mm -hmm. for that sweater, so. Yeah, I don't usually leave a lot of ends to weave in anyway, because I join them up but, and just knit double, but yep. yeah. I love, anyway. I love the spit splice. It's that's right. <laughs> it's we, like Should magic. we leave it there? Yes. Should I make that the title of the <laughs> yarn cast? Spit splice. We'll you might like, find something slightly more holiday centric. in there? <laughs> Since this will be released two days before Christmas, three days before Christmas. So, yes. All right. All right. Well, hopefully before the holidays arrive, I will have a decorated Christmas tree and these gifts will be done for every, all of us. And may all your uh, knitting <laughs> requirements be completed on time. And all of your projects then. Mm -hmm. And if not, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. It's just family mostly and friends. Yep. They love you anyways. Yep. They do, and if they don't, new friends. Um, so, yes. right. <laughs> right, right. Got those people right off. Anyway, That's right. You can come make some new friends. <laughs> make some new who friends. Who will be very networthy. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. That's well, it. we'll see everybody later in January, if unless you know we see you on thirty first. So. Yes. All right. Maybe both. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Because you know it's gonna happen. Oh. And also, it's really no, because there's people here. I know, but when they leave. True. Sorry, it's going to get real bright. Where were you on January second, <laughs> right. twenty seventeen? Exactly right. <coughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yes. There's no one up front. But there's like one person browsing. I'll be right back in a second. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay. Is it going? It is going. Oh. It's been going. <laughs> um. All right. I'm just trying to find Ravelry in case I have a question for it. Right. There we go. You got to get all these things queued up. That's right. I've got a big pile of paper here. Yes, yeah, she does. She's gonna flash her paper at you. <laughs> right. That's how I keep track of things. I would say flash your stash, but that's that's a whole nother it's a whole nother That sounds number. rude. Doesn't it? I am though going to, in fact, actually do never, a little bit of that. Never comment on the size of someone's stash. That's right. That's that. That's right. Uh, oh, so, so here we are. Yeah. I, I take it you didn't get flooded out of anywhere. Um, not in my house. Okay, no, that's good. Um, it's a good thing to live on high ground. Yes, I do. My live experience. On high ground. Um, though I cannot get home from here oh. in my normal path um, because the one road, Hollow Road's closed. Oh, it is. Um, up beyond me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and apparently it's going to be Over closed by for a couple of days. That was it this morning. Oh, apparently yeah. it's worse. Um, you should show. Yeah, I will show it. That's at least two feet of water. Oh, that shiny the road. part is the water. Yeah. Yeah, it's up. We had a lot of to rain. the top of the. It's. I mean, it's. Yeah. It's up to the guardrail. Yeah. Um. So that's 24 hours of rain. So like three yeah. to four inches, I think of rain. And yeah. then Bunch two inches of snow, of snow melt. melt. Um, and more in the mountains melted, yeah. which is all now coming down. All of it. All of it. And there was a lot actually yeah. up there. So yeah, uh, it's been So it's a mess craziness. in some places. Oh, my sister calling me. Um, that, yeah, that road's closed. That's the main, that's the road that I have to take to get home. So I'm gonna have to swing. I'm gonna have to go over to Kinesburg and swing around yeah to go to go home last um, night when i was trying to go home i yeah it rained all day yeah. and i drove to work in the morning pouring rain was all fine <clears throat> and on the way in the in the morning i thought hmm. huh <laughs> a, little, a little close to the road in a few spots yeah. um on a couple different spots although ironically those were not the ones but uh so then i ran errands so it was like six o'clock maybe by the time i was leaving wollaston yeah. and uh, I'm tootling along, still pouring rain. 
uh, I get to Van Cyclen Road closed, and I was like, oh. Hmm. Uh -huh. So I kept going, um, and at the there's a juncture point where I could have chosen to go home through Heinsburg, which mm -hmm. perhaps would have worked. Yeah. Or I could choose to make a quick right turn and go back up a little hill and then down a different road that I normally, which is my normal route home. So I, I did that, and oh, that was a mistake. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because oh, no. after I drove past the state police guy who was hiding behind a barn trying to catch a speeder. Uh, I mean, he should have been out flagging the roads I know. Flooded, well, but... apparently he had been because I oh. came up the hill. Cheese Factory Road was also closed. Oh, okay. And so then I was like, okay. So then I drove <laughs> back into South Burlington and cut across and came down Route 7. But it was like, I was... I covered yeah. a lot of Chittenden County last yes. night. <laughs> it was a little silly. Well, that um, that is a known problem area. Uh, yeah, on, but it's weird because then I it's... came through Hinesburg this morning. Yeah. And where there's really literally these big fields that are low lying uh, and they're totally full of water water. right yep. up to the edge of the road. But yep. the road was open. Yeah. And apparently it was last night because there's another guy in my office who went yep. out in that way. Yeah. So if I had kept going instead of turning it would have been a little bit faster but yeah um in the grand scheme of things for me that's nothing compared there were some yeah. people who whose homes are flooded again and cities mm -hmm. that are flooded again and roads that are washed away and it's yep. really just you know areas that have just barely begun to recover yeah. from the summer flooding it's the really road up terrible. over the mountain so once you get past that spot and come up to the four-way stop and then mm. if you go straight and go yeah. up over the dirt road um, oh by north berry farm yeah yeah that um that road leading to my house is a mess oh, so, yeah i mean it's passable but yeah, all there's the sections where it's like one car only and there's giant ravines yeah. that have been cut down the dirt road like, yeah it's crazy well it's tough because you know, I mean, let's, there's so many other choices. So if the temperature had been 15 degrees colder, we would have had three feet of snow yep. yesterday. Yep. If, but because it was in the 50s, in the, 50s. Uh, yeah. the mud is just in the water. Like <laughs> it's just it's crazy. It's a mess. Yeah. Um, but my kids did not have school canceled yesterday because they I'm we like were in like 90% of my employees. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in areas where... Uh, that was fine though we yeah. did get calls to pick kids up earlier than normal from after school programs yeah. because roads were closing and they were yeah and yeah. honestly once it got dark which is what I it was last see. night i'm like driving along thinking there's no lights because it's rural Cause it's vermont rural, yeah and we're in the settled part of <laughs> rural vermont it's not yeah. quite as rural as some and uh and i kept thinking to myself huh and it's pouring rain, so the right. roads are wet. So right. you can in your headlights, I'm like, hmm, is it wet? Is it a huge puddle? Like, right. I right. drove through several puddles on the way in yesterday morning yeah. where I was like, oh, wow, oh, what's That's happening? Exciting. They weren't like across the road, don't drive through me puddles, but yeah, apparently the side of the road was a little lower than I thought. So yeah, it's um, that was certainly interesting. Yeah, but now it's supposed to be dry through Christmas, which means no snow for Christmas, which is always a bummer. Boo. Um, <laughs> hmm? Boo. I know. Boo is all I have to say yeah. about that. Yeah. It was nice to have early snow. It would have been nice to keep it. Yes. Not that I really would have wanted it to snow for three feet yesterday, although... You I'm know what? I would take three feet of snow over what we got yesterday. Yeah, actually, garbage. it would have been... It would have not damaged people's homes and right. all that other stuff because yep. we know what to do with we snow. We know what to do with three feet of snow. Yeah, and we yeah, it would have been better. I was thinking the same thing this morning. Okay. I um, and I am done with my business travel as oh. of last Tuesday. So Tuesday afternoon Amazing. when I got back to the office, I was like, anything can happen now because I don't so have you to get jinxed. It. Apparently, <laughs> yes, right. Uh, just been relaxing since then, Ugh. although. Someone needs to tell my neck that because last oh, night no. I was, I don't know what I did sleeping, but it was not a good start to the so day. So the, um, the holiday bazaar is over. That oh, was that's good. yesterday. Uh, so there's been a lot of focus and last minute things that I've been doing for that. Last <laughs> minute sewing projects and mm -hmm. other things I've been pulling together to make happen for that's that. because you volunteer a little too much for your own good. <sighs> Sometimes, um, 
uh, uh, so now I have shifted my focus to making sure, you know, gifts for people in other places get out the door mm -hmm. and then deal. I don't have that, Just, but I do have gifts for people here that need to be finished. Yeah. Although I'm in pretty good shape, although there was a part of me that was like, wait, so Christmas is <laughs> when? Oh, right. Monday. Monday. <laughs> Monday. Uh, I think I wasted a little bit more of my weekend time than I probably should have, but you know, what are you going to do? I feel like in the last week I've spent more time standing in line at Joanne's Fabrics. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, I would say that it's because I've been going there to buy, I have been going there to buy things, but I've been putting in online orders, but the lines have been mm. huge and you still have to stand in line to get your online order. Yeah. So I'm like, if I'm going to have to stand in line anyway, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a round through the store to see what else is here and just do, you know, a couple, <laughs> a couple of things. But yeah, I've had a lot of trips to Joanne's, a lot of time waiting in line. I do feel, I mean, I get, I'm glad that people are shopping and we've been busy here in the store, which is great. And, mm -hmm. but there has been a little bit of me that was like, oh my God, people. Yeah. If you're retired, why are you shopping at noontime here in front of me at the store where I, this is my only time to like get out and get something right. quick. The traffic has been crazy around oh, here. Williston. Um, I work in Williston. I mean, it's a nightmare over there. There's... Stores have been busy. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. It I guess could not. be yeah. two o'clock. I like, because I've gone <laughs> to Joanne's. It was not like, super busy and I was like, I should do all my Christmas shopping right now. <laughs> I've I've been to Joanne's at like random times of the day just because mm -hmm. I do, I'm self-employed. So yeah. if I don't have court, I do have the flexibility to be able to like run out, run out and yeah. come back. Um, but it hasn't mattered. Like ten thirty yeah. on a random Wednesday, two o'clock in the yeah. afternoon on a random Thursday. Like last Saturday, night in the flood, last rain. night in the flooding. It, well, actually, yeah. I thought to myself, well, this is why because people are all going home or their kids have dragged them home because their schools got canceled. Right. And I thought I really should do all this, but I was tired, so I didn't. <laughs> It would have been smart. <laughs> I was um, cleaning up the Holiday Bazaar. So I don't actually work yeah. at the Holiday Bazaar because that is not my strong suit. But I <laughs> set up for it and I show up at the end and help clean up. Um, and then I went to basketball, middle school basketball game because that started now too. So that's why it's Tuesday, not Monday. Just to throw yes, everybody Yes, there was a off. lot of stuff happening <laughs> yesterday. Um, and there's lots of stuff happening tomorrow, which is Wednesday and Thursday. And frankly, Tuesday was the only day yeah. that Jen and I had this week yeah. where we could connect with the store. So yeah. the store is still open for a little bit longer. You might so hear some ding dong bells. some yep. doorbell stuff happening. Hopefully you'll hear some doorbells. <laughs> right. The more the merrier. It is close to close. Oh no, yeah. it's only 520. Still have 30, 40 minutes or so. 38 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the, you know, countdown has begun. It is December, is it the 19th today? It is the 19th. It feels like it's so much closer to Christmas. We're really not going to invite things to move any faster. No, I, I know. Because I still have things to get I, done. And I know. I still have not decorated my house. I oh, know. that's at least <laughs> happened in my house. The tree's up. Um, the my tree is up. The tree Just is, like it was The tree time. is decorated. <laughs> the tree's not fallen over yet. That's though, a plus. There's still time. Um, the dog has not eaten any ornaments that she's I all grown up now. Oh no, we're still having eating things problems. No. Uh, there's a lot of ornaments that get projectiled off the tree with the tail. Oh yeah, that's exciting. Lab mix, that was a fun thing. Those tails are like yep. Yep. weapons. Yep. Um, so that's fun. Yeah. It's uh, you know, I don't put breakable ornaments on my tree anymore. No, haven't for a while. Well, since kids showed up, <laughs> the top three quarters of my tree are breakable ish. Mm -hmm. The bottom is all the all the non breakable things, just in case the cat gets a wild hair. <clears throat> well, right now, he's just like, whatever, there's an, a tree, <laughs> a green tree in our house. Wow. I'm not sure why. <laughs> there's that thing right there. <laughs> Oh, Double look, there's water in the base that doesn't have a cover on it. Maybe I'll just have a little drink. I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> Thanks for getting me at water or closer. And he does water. love water, no matter what form it comes in. So he'll, you know, he's a sink cat, you know, with his little paw, no matter what. He hears water running, coming running from wherever he is in the house. <laughs> Crazy. It's so funny. It is. Cats yeah. are so silly. Yeah. It's funny how they all have their own little quirk. Mm -hmm. Some I've had 
I don't know, a handful of cats in my lifetime, he's the only one who like is fascinated by the water. Mm -hmm. Like the other ones were like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Certainly not <laughs> climbing up on a counter to look at that. <laughs> he used to, I don't know whether, you know, it all depends, I guess, on what happens to them when they're out there in the yeah. wild before they get rescued, but who knows? I don't have he any. He must've been very thirsty. That's all yeah. I can say. I don't have any cats that are, um, Obsessed, with, Obsessed water. with water. He doesn't care about the toilet, thank God, but he does yeah. like to climb up on it to get to the sink because when the water is running in the sink, he needs to be present. There, um, I have one cat that uh, likes to come in and sit in the bathroom when you're in the shower. Oh yeah, no, he's dead. I, I don't but bother. it's not... I the, live by myself. It's so. not the water. The that bathroom he... door is never closed. I... He likes the he likes to sit on the edge of the tub and listen oh, to the water. Oh yeah, no, that's not what's happening. Uh, the cat just wants to creep you through no. the shower curtain. It's <laughs> the best I can tell. Um, so we used to have just a clear shower mm -hmm. curtain, and it got rid of that, and mm -hmm. now I just come to the bathroom at all. So that mm. he was a creeper. Like oh. he wanted to just come creep you in the bathroom. Oh, just yeah. weird. <laughs> Maybe just check in to make sure you're all right. It sounds like a lot of water just pouring into the bathtub but I tend to shut the door. So the cat comes in mm. if one of the, well, kid, you have the family. kid has come in and not shut the door, Yeah, which also happens. Yes. It's very rare. It's just shower. easier for me to leave it open because otherwise he'll scratch at it. I just don't shower it. without other people in and out of the bathroom, which is... Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, the way we it digress. goes. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so let's see. So we're getting, we're headed into holiday week i guess when this post it'll be like right pretty close to friday so yeah Christmas it's kind of funny Eve that it's Eve. on a monday yeah, yeah it's really yeah right and it's also weird so i'll work here at the store on sunday which will be a little weird but mm -hmm. um uh on christmas eve normally i am done 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 with all my jobs by <laughs> two or three days before christmas but that's all right it's fine um my probably um could use that time for something else <laughs> but it'll be good apparently if i don't actually have like time constraints then i don't get anything done oh, that's my yeah that's... unfortunate uh, reaction to things lately I... oh i've got plenty of time i'll I just wait till thursday to do that <laughs> work within those parameters <laughs> which is why there at times oh, tends to be a lot of terrible. panic where you're like you knew this date was coming. Right. And yet you chose. And you've made it harder than it needs to be. Right. right. I could have spent all day Saturday doing useful things instead of whatever I did all day, puttering oh, around. And... I did all kinds of stuff on Saturday. Yeah. And Sunday was not any better. I was here on Sunday, so. And it was pretty busy. It was, so I was yeah. exhausted by the time I left here. Bet. And of course, the last thing was... Uh, there were a lot of people who wanted to wind yarn <coughs> on yeah. Sunday, completely fine. There were a lot of people who either had never done it before or the balls of wine yarn were oh, no. cranky and oh, it was, ugh. yeah, there was a lot of helping. So it was here till 4.30 mm -hmm. helping people, but it's fine. It's fine. Just fine. It's all good. It's fine. At that point, I knew I was going home to put my feet up not to do laundry, which is what <laughs> <laughs> should have done but yeah it's fine we didn't podcast last night so i got to do laundry instead there you go there you go yes i'm just really glad that the wind didn't kick up um and i didn't lose my power right didn't lose i power. didn't lose power so the whole middle swath of the state apparently did for a while on sunday yeah. monday but and maine i think maine really got whacked they got well, yeah. super whacked yeah um we so last year a Christmas that big storm rolled in and we didn't oh god have power right I for forgot like about that days leading up to Christmas and it came on late Christmas Eve like seven o'clock I am Eve. I live wherever I live for whatever reason um that I was a crazy lose. windstorm yeah I forgot about um, that one yeah because again I didn't lose <laughs> yeah like, so right. we actually are in the process of having um, a little generator those, no we're getting the batteries oh yeah yeah the yeah. um tesla batteries tesla batteries that you can, we can get through yeah the power walls that mm -hmm. we can rent them from green mountain power mm -hmm. um so that's a good idea we're gonna do that yeah we don't use a lot of power and in a situation like that we would shut a substantial majority of things off but it would be really nice to have like a well pump and refrigerator refrigerator and yeah. 
maybe the furnace like last year it got so cold that was when i went to like from like yeah 50 degrees we had a giant windstorm and we lost power and then like overnight it dropped into like negative yeah. numbers um yeah and i still to this day can't believe that my pipes i didn't have frozen pipes in my house yeah the only thing so. i can think of is there must not have been much water in them you know what i mean but some of the no, they, ones... we have baseboard hot water heat oh yeah but those i have that as well and they, they're not insulated but they never freeze that so it's run kind of through weird... knee walls yeah mine are under are the house not there's no insulation yeah. there <laughs> yeah um, it's just crazy squirrels <laughs> So I think if I think if we had gone one more day, I yeah. there is a corner of the house that is very cold yeah. upstairs, um, yeah. and I had some pretty significant con that like the wood stoves can't yeah. touch at all, yeah. Um, no matter what. So, but I think yeah, I think if we had gone one more night, yeah, um, it would have been real grim. Yeah, on Christmas. Well, hopefully it won't repeat. Actually, the weather yeah. looks pretty benign for the rest of the week, yeah, like in the just, 20s and 30s and sunny. So, just fine. Yeah. It's fine. It'll be good. Okay with that. Yeah. Except without snow. But, yes. But, you um, can't have everything. No. No. I won't. It did occur to me because the weather, the temperature is supposed to drop, that depending on how fast the water goes, there could be some amazing natural skating um, yeah, that's this true. week because it is going to drop into, I think the highs are in the 30s, low 30s. So it should freeze yeah. uh, some of these great big fields of water. That could be kind of cool. Yeah, which may or may not be ideal for other reasons, but ice skating, smooth, flat ice skating. Um, a few corn husks sticking up here. Right. <laughs> That would be what I fell on. Um, <laughs> how did you hurt yourself? <laughs> well, it all started. <laughs> yes, right. In a field with frozen water. That's right. Um, it occurs to me I should probably measure this at some point. Uh, I feel like I'm not there yet, though. Look, how we're both working furiously <laughs> on hats. <laughs> That's because it's easier than trying to net on the vest. That's true. Um, which has got too many balls of yarns attached to it right now. That's true. Yeah, so you're here for the holidays. I'm yep. here for the holidays. My family's here, although I'm yep. leaving the day after to go to Portland, Maine for a couple of days, which oh, is fun. sort of the inverse of what I normally do. Um, nice. And it's a different group of people, oh. though I'm going to see my one college friend as well. Awesome. But yeah, so that'll be, fun. yeah. We um, don't have any plans to do anything. Occasionally, we'll take little short trips between oh, that's right. yep. Christmas and New Year's, mm -hmm. um, but we're not because I haven't planned anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really odd. Normally, people come to me, which is partly why I haven't rushed to decorate the house. I will eventually do it before Christmas cause, because I like it to be decorated, but I just, there's no one forcing the issue so yeah. um things have just been uh in boxes down but so it's a uh, it's a little odd and there's part of me i will admit you know it'll be fun but there's part of me that's like oh i've just been been gone so much i right. just really want to be home in my right. house right but instead i'll be there for tuesday wednesday thursday i'm coming home friday Nice. Yeah. Just in time nice. for our, well, for me to work at the store on New Year's Eve. The timing of these holidays are not pleasant no, for me this year. <laughs> Next year will be we better. We don't have to do inventory on Monday, which is like That's true. Amazing. I do at least get one day back. Yeah. True. Um, and we'll talk about our mm -hmm. New Year's Eve cast on party. Yep. You're going to have to text me at like 6 o'clock and be like, don't forget. Right. <laughs> I have to put a reminder in my phone. I don't think I put it in my calendar of it, yet. Put it on my calendar so it's yes. so it buzzes me at like 6.30. Right. I will forget because yes. it's out of my normal routine. Yeah. And there might yeah. be other activities happening. Uh, Perhaps. Yes. Some adult beverage imbibing. Well, that will be happening during the cast <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, for sure. <laughs> If I'm going to be home knitting, I'm definitely going to be yeah. having a beverage, right. an or adult two. beverage or two. Yes. Totally. Maybe I'll have to have a small pitcher because, you know. Ooh, that's a really good might idea. might be rude to get up in the middle and walk away <laughs> and make <laughs> another beverage. <laughs> good idea. Right. It'll be like a little setup, a little cooler. <laughs> right. 
or I'll just bring the bottle of Bailey's over there. <laughs> just drink straight from the bottle? <laughs> no, I'll drink from my lovely little wine glass, but I'll be able to replenish it. It That's doesn't true. need to be chilled. <laughs> that is true. Um, I went to a little Christmas party on Saturday night, and there's a Yankee swap uh, oh, cool. thing. And um, so I managed to offload some nice glass Christmas ornaments that have been like packed in a box for years. They're not heirlooms. They were something I bought years ago and have never used. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, off they go. Nice. <coughs> and uh, the box that I unwrapped was a little bottle of Bailey's. So oh, last night cool. I was like, you know, wow. wow. I'm going to open this up. We have, um, at I'm my gonna house. have some every night. There'll be none left by New Year's Eve. <laughs> transitioned over to Vermont ice. Oh. And usually, um, this time of year you can find it on sale. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's like the wine, the, the ice wine. No, it's, um, similar to Bailey's. It's oh. a locally made maple based oh. liqueur that tastes very similar to, I think it's better than Bailey's. Well, maple, but, it would be better. Yeah. So it's, um, the company is called Vermont Ice. Okay. So you can buy it at the liquor store. I think a um, son needs to come to Maine with me. Yeah, I think for my I girlfriends. Think for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. It's delicious. They do have they've like a an apple one. Um hmm. but we buy the we buy the maple cream. Yes. The that one that we buy. Good. Um and it's delicious. I'm sure they have it. They have it at all the eight oh two liquor yeah. stores. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I'm going to imagine that I may need to make a little Yep. I would highly recommend stop it. on my way out of town on Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> it sort of, it hit, you know, ticks two boxes. Bailey's ask you, we drink yes. it on the, actually I'll put Cozy. it in my coffee. Um, but it's also a local. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's over my absolutely. Company. Yeah. Yeah. I stumbled across that one. I don't know. Five or six years ago, maybe hmm. the little I liquor store that. in Heinsburg is amazing. Yeah. And like the good people that work there, like you can just ask them like, what's new? What's good? What do you got? That's local. And, hmm. you're, and you can always ask them like, is this good? And they're like, oh yeah, that's really good. Or they'll huh. be like, oh yeah. Nah. So <laughs> yeah. we're very lucky here in Vermont. We have lots of good adult beverages here. So many options. Sometimes too many options. You're like, I don't even know what to buy. Oh no. <laughs> I have a lot of my favorites for sure. Yeah. Bar Hill Gin. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. See, you give me Bar Hill Gin, I give you Vermont That's ice. right. <laughs> so far, it seems like a good trade. <laughs> now, one for winter, one for summer. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm still drinking gin. But I'm just yes. putting it like a, a cranberry cocktail that I've been making. Oh, so. that sounds good, too. Yes. Hmm. That would require my going to the grocery store and actually buying food and beverages to have in my house, which I have not done for a week or so. Mm. Who knows what I'm having for dinner tonight? Right. I'm not sure there's much of anything. Last night I was scraping the bottom of the barrel, so I'm gonna have to make a small stop at Shelburne Supermarket on the way home tonight. Yeah. Or put in a to-go order to like Archie's or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's an idea. Chinese food, maybe. Chef Lou's, yep. That's a good idea. We picked up, Abigail and I picked up Chef Lou's on Saturday when we were out running around with all of our errands. That's um, a good idea. Grocery shopping and other things and then put in that would be an order in, actually. picked up and had mm -hmm. Chinese food. Well, lots of people had sushi for night number one, mm -hmm. Saturday night. And then we also buy Chinese food. Um, so we had that for leftovers mm -hmm. last night after basketball and all the other crazy stuff. So. Yeah. 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 All right. Yep. You should probably get this show on the road because now I'm starting to get hungry. I know. Let's we'll <laughs> so talk about food. I'm thinking about dinner. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> I just had a salad for lunch. As did I. Yes. And a cookie because God knows there's a oh. thousand cookies in my oh. office right now. I will say one of the upsides of being gluten free is I can't eat any of that stuff. So it oh, I don't mind, but it's good. Yeah, but um, I am. Um, I'm trying to limit myself to one cookie a day. Yeah. We'll see how that Oh, and, works. and we have so many cookies and other sweets in my house right now, and 90% mm -hmm. of them I cannot eat, and I'm not sad about that at all. I would be. I do like Christmas cookies, but not, these aren't really Christmas cookies. These are, you know, vendor yeah. engineering thank you gifts. Yeah. But still. It's fine. It is, yes. All right. When you have a salad for lunch, a cookie feels justified. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yep. All right. <clears throat> Should we go? Sure. We shall go. Yeah.